Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Loves Data. In this video, you'll learn how to set up enhanced conversions for Google Ads. Enhanced conversions let you send extra details, like people's email addresses, to Google Ads when they convert on your website. Google Ads will use this information to improve the accuracy of conversions and understand when people use multiple devices. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to CookieBot for sponsoring this video. CookieBot lets you quickly and easily add a consent banner to your website. It's important to use a consent banner if people located in Europe visit your website and you want to use enhanced conversions, as you will need permission to collect this data. We'll talk about this more in a moment. Before we do, let's start by heading to my demo website. We will be using my WordPress demo site along with the Contact Form 7 plugin, but you can apply the same approach to other website platforms and forms. Okay, let's navigate to Contact. And we can see the form we're going to track. In order to configure enhanced conversions, we're going to send the email addresses people enter into this form to Google Ads. You can also send other information to Google Ads for enhanced conversions, including first and last name and street address. But we're going to focus on tracking email addresses. Now that we've identified the form we want to use for enhanced conversions, let's head to WordPress. And let's select Plugins. And Installed Plugins. We can see the Contact Form 7 plugin. And we can also see I've installed the GTM for WordPress plugin. Using Google Tag Manager along with the GTM for WordPress plugin is the easiest way to track enhanced conversions. If you're not using Google Tag Manager or the GTM for WordPress plugin and you'd like me to create a dedicated tutorial, please let me know in the comments. And I've also included links to extra resources in the description below this video. Since I've already installed the GTM for WordPress plugin, let's select Settings for the plugin. Now let's select the Integration tab. And we can see the option for the Contact Form 7 integration. Let's enable this. Enabling this option will push two events to the data layer, which we can then use to configure tags, triggers and variables in Google Tag Manager. It will push an event when the form sends an email, and it will push an event when the form is submitted. We will use one of these events in a moment. OK, let's click Save Changes. Now let's head to Google Tag Manager. And let's click Preview to load Tag Assistant. Now we enter the URL of our website. Click Connect. And let's navigate to Contact. Complete the form. and click Submit. Now let's open the Tag Assistant tab. And on the left we can see the two events pushed to the data layer for our form. We're going to use the Submission event to configure our tag, trigger and variables in Google Tag Manager. So let's select this event. It's called GTM for WP full stop contact form 7 submitted. Let's copy this. Now let's select the data layer tab. We can see in the inputs array the email address we entered into the form. So this is what we're going to use to configure things in Google Tag Manager. OK, let's close the Tag Assistant tab and head back to Google Tag Manager. Let's navigate to Variables.
and let's create a user-defined variable. Let's name the variable contact form 7 email address. Let's select Variable Configuration. And let's select Data Layer Variable as the variable type. Now we need to enter inputs full stop 1 full stop value as the data layer variable name. And let's save the variable. Now we need to create one more user defined variable. Let's name the variable user provided data email address. Let's select Variable Configuration and choose User Provided Data as the variable type. Let's ensure Manual Configuration is selected. And under Email, we need to select the Contact Form 7 email address variable we just created. This User Provided Data variable lets us include all of the personal information we're going to be sending to Google Ads for enhanced conversions. OK, now let's save the variable. Now let's navigate to Triggers. And let's create a new trigger. Let's name the trigger Contact Form 7 Submitted. And let's select Trigger Configuration and choose Custom Event as the trigger type. Now we need to paste the name of the data layer event we copied from the Tag Assistant tab as the event name. This should be GTM 4 WP full stop contact form 7 submitted. And let's save the trigger. We've now created a variable to capture the email addresses people enter into our form, a user provided data variable, and we've created a trigger that will fire when people complete our form. Now we need to create a tag to send the information to Google Ads. So let's navigate to Tags. And let's create a new tag. Let's name the tag Google Ads Conversion Contact Form 7. And let's select Tag Configuration. Select Google Ads and choose Google Ads Conversion Tracking as the tag type. At the top we can see there is a green check mark and it says Conversion Linker Tag Found in Container. If your container doesn't have a Conversion Linker Tag, you'll see a message asking you to create one. If you see this, you can follow the steps to create the tag. It will help improve the accuracy of conversion tracking. Next we need to enter the Conversion ID and Conversion Label for the conversion we've configured in Google Ads. So let's head to Google Ads to get these. Let's navigate to Goals and select Summary under Conversions. I want to track enhanced conversions for my email leads conversion action. So let's select this. We need to select Tag Setup and let's select Use Google Tag Manager. If you don't see the Use Google Tag Manager tab, it's because of how the conversion was created in Google Ads. You can find a link to learn more about this in the description below this video. Now we need to copy the conversion ID. And we need to copy the conversion label. Below Tag Setup, I want you to select Enhanced Conversions and ensure that this option is enabled. We can see it's already enabled for my conversion action, 
so let's head back to Google Tag Manager. Now we need to paste the conversion ID we copied from Google Ads. And we need to paste the conversion label. To send people's information to Google Ads for enhanced conversions, we need to enable the option that says include user provided data from your website. And using the drop down, let's select the custom variable we created. Now let's scroll down and select triggering and choose the contact form 7 trigger we created. Now we can save the tag. The next step is to check that we're using consent mode. If people located in Europe can convert on our website, we need their permission to track enhanced conversions in Google Ads. This is because we're collecting personal information. To set up consent mode, we're going to use CookieBot. So let's head to Google Tag Manager. I've already implemented CookieBot on my website. If you haven't set up a consent banner on your website yet, and you're just getting started with consent mode, I recommend watching my dedicated tutorial on consent mode and CookieBot. You can find a link to this tutorial in the description below this video. Since I've already completed these steps, let's check that everything is set up and working correctly. We can see the CookieBot tag. Let's select this. The tag is using the CookieBot template. I've already entered the ID from my CookieBot account. Google Consent Mode has been enabled. And we can see that the tag uses the Consent Initialization All Pages trigger. So that all looks good. Let's close the tag. Now let's click the Consent Overview icon on the top right corner. If you don't see this icon, then again I recommend watching my dedicated tutorial. The Consent Overview shows you all of the tags in your Google Tag Manager container. And you'll see them listed under Consent Not Configured or Consent Configured. We can see our Google Ads conversion tag isn't listed under Consent Configured yet. This is because we just created it and haven't defined the consent settings yet. Let's click the name of the tag. Scrolling down, we can see the tag has built in consent checks for ad storage, ad personalization, and ad user data. The good news is that this means the Google Ads conversion tag will automatically adjust its behavior based on consent mode. This means it will send basic anonymous information as a hit if consent hasn't been granted. Then when consent has been given, it will send all of the available information to Google Ads. Since the tag does have built-in consent settings, this means we can go ahead and select no additional consent required under additional consent checks. Now let's save the tag. We can see our Google Ads conversion tag is now listed under consent configured. Now we can test that enhanced conversion tracking is working correctly and that consent mode is being applied to the tag based on the selections made on our consent banner. To test all of this, let's click Preview. Tag Assistant and our website loads. Let's click the CookieBot Privacy Trigger icon on the bottom left corner of our website. We can see only necessary cookies are allowed. All of the other cookies have been disabled. So let's see how the tag behaves based on these consent settings. Let's close this. And let's navigate to Contact. Let's complete the form. And click Submit. Now let's open the Tag Assistant tab. 
we can see our Google Ads conversion tracking tag has fired. Let's select our Google Ads tag ID at the top. And let's select the conversion that has been tracked. We can see a parameter called cookie consent state. And this parameter has a value of G100. This means only a basic hit has been sent to Google Ads because consent hasn't been provided. Let's close this. And let's head back to the website. Now let's click the CookieBot privacy trigger icon again. And let's click change your consent. Now instead of denying cookies, let's select allow all. This means we've now provided consent. So let's complete the form again. And click Submit. Now let's open Tag Assistant again. We're still looking at the Google Ads Tag ID. And we can see another conversion has been tracked. Let's select this. This time we can see the value for the cookie consent state parameter is G111. This means consent has been granted and all of the available information will be sent to Google Ads. Let's close this. And let's select the Google Tag Manager container ID. Let's select the data layer event for the form submission. And let's select our Google Ads conversion tracking tag. Let's ensure values is selected on the top right corner. And let's click show more. We can now see that the email address we entered has been sent with the conversion to Google Ads. This means this information will be used for enhanced conversion tracking. When you're happy everything works correctly, you can publish the changes in Google Tag Manager. Are you going to implement enhanced conversions for Google Ads? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to learn more about Google Ads, Google Tag Manager and CookieBot, please check out the extra resources in the description below this video. And please subscribe to this channel for all of the latest updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.